Hey guys, it's Fonts. Welcome back to the channel. If you already saw me looking like this, I just filmed a favorites video, but I need to film an intro from the other video I've been filming. So I always do my nails from home. I used to go get them done all the time, but I like playing around and experimenting different things. So I really have gotten back into it for the past like year or so. And whenever I'm not sure about what to do to my nails, I put a poll on my Instagram and I kind of ask people, hey, what should I do? This time, I know what I'm going to do. I'll put a photo of the screenshot on it. I don't know who those nails are. I saw them on Pinterest and it ain't have no link to the channel or account. But <laughs> I'll put a photo of the thing that I want to do. I decided I've been wanting to film me doing my nails with you guys for a very long time just because I feel like it'd be fun and I'm experimenting and it's a learning process but it's something that I really enjoy so I want to bring you guys with me on that. I'm going to include the clips of me doing like the first part like actually getting the nails on all the prep that we need there. I did do just the basic sheer coat so I just want to bring you guys up to speed. After that the only thing can we focus. So the color that I have on my nails right now, this is the kind of messed up hand, so like don't come to me. We're gonna finish working on it. The color that I have on my nails right now is Innocence by China Glaze. It's my favorite blush nude color. And that's gonna be the base for nails. So let's get into the next thing to me actually doing it. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know how I figured out how to do this angle, but I figured it out. So <laughs> it's like an impromptu me filming. So bear with me. So the next thing, okay, here we go. You can't see my face, that's fine. I'm obsessed with this pack of nails. I ordered them on Amazon. They have the best curve to them. So what I do next is I take out all 10 fingers that I'm gonna need. I have my favorite glue, which is, all of the stuff will be linked down below. This is my favorite glue to use. Oh, that focus was finesse, huh? That looks like really nice. Um, I have my glue here. My nails are nice and dehydrated, so I know it's gonna last long. I'm just gonna take out 10 pieces to match them up to my nails. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to show you that, and then we'll get back to when I have to put them okay. on. Okay, we're back. Nails are bare. I have all 10 nails set out. I know some people do a lot of different things. I'm pretty chill here, so all I do is I grab some of the glue, start with my left hand first, and I just make sure I can cover the bed of my nail. And this one's a quick dry, so you kinda have to go quickly. I put it right at my cuticle and press forward, and I hold it. And this way, I don't really get any, any bubbles, whatever. I know my sister holds it for like a whole minute each nail. I love her. I'll always listen to her advice, but I ain't doing that. <laughs> So I just hold it for a little bit and good no nail bubbles so I'm gonna continue on and I'll speed it up from here and then we'll be back when I have to trim them because this is excessively long <laughs> Here we are. Here are how my nails look right now. They're super long, but they're on there nice and secure. And you can see I didn't really get too many of those nail bubbles. That's how another way that you know it'll last really long. So I'm excited about that. <sighs> but I gotta cut them down because I just mm, it's it's doing a little too much. So I have um, nail clippers, but if you notice, they have a very straight edge. I think I want to leave my nails a little bit longer this time, but not this long. So I'm just going to go in, clip it, and then file it. So, and I don't know what the grid is on this file. Oh, it's 100 by 100 grit. It's pretty coarse. I love coarse ones for this. So, so as of right now, that's basically it. Sometimes I'll add in cuticle oil and stuff, but that's kind of how my 
nails be looking really good. Okay, so it occurs to me that this is kind of like a vlog over the span of days for me to do my nails. Interesting. I didn't know it normally took me that long, but here we are. We're gonna continue with the nails. Right now I'm just brewing some iced coffee. I'm gonna set you up on my ring light and be about to see if I can get my nails to look like that photo. And if it's not already up or hasn't already been up on the screen, I'm gonna put it somewhere up on the screen because I have my reference photo and all that to go through and you guys should have it as well. So yeah, let me do all that and I'll see you in a second. <laughs> hey. Okay. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys everything, but again, this is kind of more like a vlog thing. I just wanted to do it with you. So the first nail, or the first nails I'm gonna do will be the point, the thumb and the pinky. Those are ombre. The stripes, by the way, they just look like that. I have the pink towards the top and the white beneath it. Yes, beneath it, that way when I go to stamp it in, I have it at the right position for my fingers. So I'm just gonna touch and go from there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then still use the sponge to help me smooth it out. So there's one, and once you have on the top coat, it looks so much cuter. So now I'm gonna do my thumb. I really wanna know how all these nail artists finesse their setup, because this was a struggle, okay. Hopefully it's focusing. I don't ever worry about what's on my skin because I can just clean that up. Okay, let me do the other hand. This part I'm gonna speed up. Something else I didn't realize, I also need ombre for my ring fingers to go over, yes, my ring fingers, to go over the, um, to go underneath, I mean the foil, so. At the very top, I'm just gonna show you again. I'm adding in my base color, which is, for me, I like a blush pink, but you could even do nude or like a fun color. And then I take my white, because I'm a little bit more basic, okay? I like it, I like it like this. White is gonna go at the bottom, because when you go upside down, the white will be at the top, and that's where you want it. And then again, this is my ring finger. I'm trying not to like have a weird thing here, but I'm just gonna make sure I'm rolling it. And then the pink at the bottom just kind of helps me to flush it all out. But I'll move it a little bit lower so that way I can get a little bit more of it. And for this finger, I'm not gonna go in and do anything extra, like add another, like some extra pink or anything because I'm just gonna put foil over top of it. But we are on our way. I should have cleaned off my desktop, but I'm going to redo it soon, so I was like not really stressing that at all. Boom! Um, I'm going to do an extra coat of the pink on these two fingers, pointer and middle, because I feel like it'll just look a little bit nicer. I'm going to try my best to do a really good marble, because I've seen it in so many videos and I always struggle with it every time. Um, that being said, give me one second. I'm gonna go and get some alcohol because we're gonna need that. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So in this cup, I have some rubbing alcohol because I've seen so many people do it and I just kind of want to perfect it. Add that and then I have another brush, a clean brush. So a striper in this and then an extra striper right here. I'm going to try my best to not get too much on my brush here and I'm going to do as faint stripes as I can. I'm going to kind of look at the girl's hand and like get a little see, to the alcohol. I don't totally hate how it looks. Shocker. And then y'all cannot even see what I'm doing. Do I hate it? I'm trying to decide if I hate it. <laughs> I don't really hate it. I should hate it more, but I don't. And it's fine that it looks like really messy because the top coat is gonna even it all out. Cause I would not want to be around with this finger. No, 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 no. Okay, so next hand, even though it's not really coming out exactly how I want, I want to perfect marble. But again, this is just for fun. So I don't feel too bad. Okay. Then I dip my brush in to the alcohol 
to thin it out. I know some people use like acetone and I'm just terrified to really fuck up my nails so just to kind of push it in. I took some pink on the sponge. I actually like how this hand came out better. I'm gonna include photos, but I kind of see a swirl effect and I feel like with the top coat, it's gonna be bomb. So, the next thing we have to do is the foil. Gold foil, I got this from, I think I got it in a pack off Amazon like forever ago. And I'm gonna use just nail glue to help me get it on there. So this clings to everything. So it's gonna cling to your tweezers, all of that. I have long tweezers right here. On my pointer, it's kind of like going around here. So I'm just gonna do a couple of dots going around the side of my finger. And then what I like to do is I just kind of press it down. Does that look weird? I don't look weird to me. And then on the ring finger, it's just kind of like all over. So I'm just gonna do a couple of dots. I feel like it's gonna look way cuter with my top coat on. These are how my hands are looking. How oh, this hand looks so far. <laughs> Um, seeing all the foil on and kind of how I fucked it up, I don't want to put stones on top, so <gasps> we're not doing stones anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to repeat this to my other hand. Can we not get this stuff in? I already know the bloopers from this video is going to be kind of sort of silly as well. Okay, so these are how <laughs> my hands are looking so far. I'm just going to do a nice hefty coat of top coat. The foil's not gonna go anywhere, but the thicker the coat, the, smooth, the smoother everything will look. <laughs> and this is quick dry, cause I, mm, no. <laughs> okay, so here is my right hand, which always comes out a little worse, cause I'm right handed. <laughs> Here's that one. And I'm gonna include photos once everything's dry and I can really clean up the sides of my nails and stuff. But there's that one, and then this is my left hand. I feel like the marble looks a little bit more realistic on my right hand, not to flip you off, but. <laughs> so, we are like super close to each other, huh? Hi. Oh, can I like fix my hair? Hi. So, I don't know. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm gonna include. I'm gonna include photos of how my nails look once they're like all cleaned up and everything and you guys let me know how you feel about them I definitely could have done better but they also could have looked a lot could have looked a lot worse so I mean I'm comfortable with living with them for a couple more for like a week or so Ooh, in my mirror they look so pretty <laughs> all right so <laughs> The moment, I mean, I kind of like it. I do kind of want to just use a gel top coat. I don't know. I like to say my gel top coat when I do my poly gel nails, which I want to do next. So maybe we'll revisit this later on. But yeah, this is kind of how I do like my nails when I want something to look really nice and look cute like I got it done, but I just didn't want to do it. Thumbnail. Don't fuck it up. What are you going to do? Okay, I got some thumbnails. All right, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put, again, a photo of the nail design. Let me know what you thought. I'm gonna keep practicing because I honestly enjoy doing my nails. I'm not the best, but I still like it. And I will see you in the next video. I can't really wave, so bye, guys. <laughs>